So you probably already have the actual Bluebird JPEG. If not, check your um, video file where you got this, the folder it's sitting in with all the videos. It will have this in it. Let's set up our document size so we can go into document setup and look at it. Is it sitting on the correct artboard? Let's go into edit artboards. Sure enough, it's sitting on an eight and a half by 11 artboard. That is correct. Hit escape to get out of edit artboard. Here, what I'm gonna do is hold shift and make this as big as the artboard is. Because this is the size transparency we can print on. I'm going to reset my thing back to extensions and then launch navigator just to just to clean up my workflow a little bit. So as big as you can get this on a transparency. Now what I'm going to do is make a couple layers. I'm going to hold alt and click and drag the original a couple times like four and I like having, I might not use four, but I want to use four right now. I'm going to hide all the other ones except for this one, and then I'm going to do something called Live Trace. Okay, here, what I'm going to do is click on the bird. Before I do this, let me kind of show you something. Let's go into Separations Preview for a second. Right now I see no separations at all because the fact of the matter is I haven't live traced anything. Also, I have RGB in my preview. RGB, what I want to do is switch the document over to CMYK and then it appears this. So this will only present itself as, you know, right now yeah, it's a rasterized document that's going to separate out. And I can see that real time. So if I was to make a couple screens, let's say this screen, and then another screen that looks like this, this being all gray on that screen, I might be able to pull off a t-shirt graphic that looks like this. Maybe. But the only bad thing is the washout is going to be really hard on the screen print because it's not pure black and it's going to, you know, it's going to have a weird line quality. It's not going to look as good as what, what I'm going to show you. So we're going to keep this separations preview out but and make sure that you don't move any of your birds around. Just have this one highlighted and do a live trace. I'm going to go into tracing options and choose something. It's called Ignore White. Preview. And I have this. So what I'm going to do here is I want to lower the threshold down a little bit. And then back up. There we go. So what I'm doing here essentially is taking everything and basically turning it into one one huge color. And I want to do it in such a way that it's still fashionable on the outside. If I wanted this white a color, I would have to not choose ignore white. I'll show you the advantages of that especially on the first trace. I'm going to hit OK to this. And I'm going to start picking it apart. I'm going to expand it. I'm going to ungroup it. So I highlight it again, go to ungroup. I'm going to click on the outside and delete this. I'm also going to look at any of the ones that might be in here 
and like delete these. So these are part of the background that I want the t-shirt to show through, right? Now I don't want to pick out any of the feathers because those are those are not part of it. Okay, good. Now let's set up a spot color. Let's go to new spot color and it's going to be CMYK and I'll use blue. I'm going to highlight the bird and go select same fill color and turn it all to blue. Also what I'm going to do is choose to put a blue in the stroke and take the stroke value and put it at like four points. Okay, now what I have here is I have an overprint of the blue, so I'm going to lock that out. Make sure you lock it out. So in the next video what I'm going to do is work on another color in here and show you how to get that out and sit it on top of the blue. This will present a trapped color because it'll, it'll take in, well print a color over top of a color but now I have this outline around the edge in case you know I mess up. Alright and that's in the next video.